So how many of you guys uh, can still sort of see your facial features for your face? Okay, still sort of see them? All right, I'm gonna rotate my picture. We're gonna do this again, okay? Even if you don't, even if you can't see the facial features, you kinda remember how to do it. What's the first thing that we do? The eyes. Okay, grab your Sharpie. If you don't already have a Sharpie, we're gonna do some two little smile lines. If you can kind of see your lines, go ahead and trace them. If you can't, do them where they should be, okay? Then what was the next thing we did? Who remembers? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do the eyebrow on the left first, right? Then I'm gonna do the one on the right, starting from the outside in, going down, 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 turns into a nose, it kind of goes out a little bit, and then boop, goes in. I'm gonna kind of make mine a little curvy, and I'm gonna draw like a little sort of C shape on the other side. Just for this one though, you don't have to do it on yours if you don't want to. Make it look like the person that you think it should look like. And for the mouth, hey, let's focus, folks. Let's focus. For the mouth, remember we do that little, the little smile line. And then we have like a little bump and another little bump on top. And then a big bump on the bottom that goes from side to side, okay? All right, give me a zero in the air when you've got your facial features done. Give me a zero in the air when you've got your facial features done. Got it. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Naomi. Yes, we want to do the baby too. When we're done with the face, let's rotate it again and let's do that baby. So again, we're starting with the eyes with those two little smile lines. And then the little the little eyebrow on the right, and then we do the eyebrow on the left, swoop it down, make that little nose, we do that little smile, boink, boink, boink. Or you could do the heart shape with a little line through it if that's what you did, totally fine. You know what I'm also going to do? I'm also going to add a chin to the mom, okay, because right now her head kind of looks like a slug because it's just like attached to the neck. It's a little strange, right? So I'm gonna start from this side of her face and just make a line just sort of suggesting the chin. I don't even have to draw it all the way. Just kind of part way. Just what's like, oh right, her chin is there. Just to give the suggestion of where her head meets her neck. You know? That's kind of what we're going for. All right, now the first person who's done at your table, I want you to um, head over to get a pallet for everyone at your table. Oh, and while everyone is getting pallets, if you're still working on the outlining and if you want to outline, you know, the child's uh, shoulder, their little arm there or whatever, if there's anything that you want to outline, like fingers and stuff like that, you can do it in Sharpie. It's probably easier to do it in Sharpie than it is with paint. So if you want to go ahead and do that, add your little, his little, his little arm and his little shoulder in front of, or her little shoulder in front of her little cheek there. Okay. Super cute. Okay, add palette papers. I need one person from each table to get palette papers for everyone from your table. So somebody who didn't get the palettes and who's also kind of done with everything they need to do can get palette papers for everyone at your table. And then as soon as you get palette papers, you guys can start getting a little bit of every color. A little bit of every color. Every single color. It's gonna be super fun. You don't need a ton, you know. You can always start with a little and get more if you need to later. If you know that you're gonna need a lot of one color though to do like her dress or the background, then you can get more of that color, okay? But we'll talk about that in a little sec. So I'll let you guys get your colors.